everyone and thanks so much for joining in again. If you're watching along live, you know I just finished my top 25 retiring products that I wanted to highlight because Stampin' Up! has just announced the retiring products for my annual catalog. They are available while supplies last. Many of them are available on really great discounts and I want to highlight these products before they're gone. So for those of you in my group, I will be popping in here several times today, maybe the next few days to share some other projects you can make with a lot of our retiring products. So today's, the one I wanna start with right now, is made with this really cute under my umbrella stamp set and the coordinating umbrella builder punch. Now, as we go through, I'm going to be highlighting papers, embossing folders, dyes, all sorts of things that are retiring here shortly. So you get to see a lot of other products that will disappear quickly and you can decide if they are things that you would love to have in your collection. So let me show you what we need to make this card. We need a card base that measures five and a half by eight and a half. Mine is in Calypso Coral, folded that in half. Piece that measures three and a half by four and three quarters, that's Coastal Cabana. And I have embossed it with our scripty embossing folder. Let's see, can you see that? With the little script words. This is an embossing folder I've used a ton, ton of times and it is retiring, so I'm really upset about that. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure I can be consoled with some new products, but uh, yeah, it's a really great one. So if you don't have it in your collection, you may want to add it. Here is a piece of purple posy cardstock. This color is retiring. A uh, really nice light lavender that I cut out with the largest square in the Stitched Shapes die set. This die set is my most used die set of all time. It has circles, squares, and ovals, and each. Each shape comes with four different sizes. So I've die cut that. And then we need a piece of the Playing With Patterns designer paper. This is retiring. It comes in the six by six size, has really fun colors and really fun patterns. So this is the one I want to use for that. And then I'll be pulling in a few other little smaller things here as we go. So what I want to do first is stamp and punch that cute umbrella that is the main thing you see in the Under My Umbrella stamp set. And let's see, is that gonna work? Bring in my punch. Line that up and punch it out. Now you can stamp this on plain cardstock if you like. You can color it. But I really like to stamp it right here on this designer paper, punch it out quick and easy, and it is ready to go. Now we need a piece that we can punch out the handle for the umbrella on. So I'm going to pull in just a different one. It's a little bit darker. I was thinking I wanted to go with something with some blues. I'll slide it there in behind that piece for the handle. Flip that over, and it looks like we're going to have two different sizes we, or sides we can choose from, either one, the one with the polka dot or the one that's a little bit more plain and then turns lavender at the bottom. I think I'll actually use that side, as long as it looks okay for the hook to go that way on my card. So what I'm going to do is create the umbrella on that square. I stamped and cut out these cute little rain boots. I stamped this on another print from that same Playing With Patterns paper pack. And then I want to stamp one of the greetings. So the greeting I would like to use says, life's showers bring love's flowers. Okay, there are a lot of showers in life, aren't they? Aren't there, I should say. So we'll stamp that right there. Now let's go ahead and assemble these cute little pieces on top. And then we can get the whole card put together. So I think, debating, I think I'm going to use this side of my little handle for the umbrella. So I'll just put a little bit of glue down the back side of this. Won't take much. Lay that on where I think I want it. Then I'm going to pop up the umbrella and the boots with some dimensionals. So I hope you've seen the retiring list by now with all these retiring products that we have. If not, make sure you check it out. I shared it on my website the other day, scrappingstampingandstuff.com. 
just recorded that video with my top 25 favorite products that are being retired. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you take a look at it and take a look at the website with all of the products that are available for sale because there are so many more and it always makes me sad every every time we have a catalog retire i end up with someone at least one person contacting me just really upset that they missed ordering a particular product that is no longer available so i don't want that to be you i want you to take a look i want you to make sure you know what is available and get it ordered before it sells out Products sell out all the time during this big sale, so take a look as soon as you can. Okay, I think I want to turn that at a little angle just for something different. And here's another retiring product. We have these cute butterfly gems. And I want to apply a few of these. I'm looking to see which color I should choose. The This is actually terracotta tile, but that coordinates really well, and so does the purple posy. So... Let's see, let's do a few of these terracotta ones. And my snips may actually work a little bit better for this. I think I'll put these out here on this coastal cabana piece in the background. And one more down here at the bottom. So a lot of these products are available at really great discounts. I don't know the product, the price of these exactly, but a lot of times you can get our embellishments, our ribbons, some of our tools at really, really good prices. So check out the sale. Hopefully you can find some things you love. Thanks for joining in for this really cute umbrella card today made with the Under My Umbrella stamp set. And I will see you again next time.